Today, I'm gonna to walk you through Shopify Meta Fields, a hugely powerful feature that most brands never utilize. Let's jump into it. So what are Meta Fields? Well, put simply, they're just a way to store extra data that you wanna utilize on your Shopify store, either on product pages, regular pages, orders, customers, pretty much the sky is the limit. But really what you're doing is just creating little opportunities to store specific types of data and then call that data on your Shopify store. Now it sounds a little bit complicated, but today I'm gonna to walk you through how you can utilize meta fields on your product page to make it much easier to not only build out pages, but also make it more customizable so that your users have a better experience on your product pages and hopefully it'll lead to better conversions. So first I'm going to show you how you access meta fields and it's pretty simple. You're going to go to your Shopify dashboard and then you're going to go into settings and then you're going to want to go into custom data. Now these are all your meta field definitions. So you can set meta fields for products, for variants, collections, customers, orders, draft orders, locations, pages, blogs, blog posts, and markets. Today, we're just going to focus on products. But in a future video, I'll walk you through how you can apply this for customers, orders, things like that, which can be more powerful on the back end. But today we're gonna just focus on the front end of your Shopify store. So obviously we're gonna wanna jump into products. And then in the top right hand corner here, we're gonna wanna do add definition. So for this example, we're gonna be creating a specific section right here on the product page that allows us to showcase exactly what type of product this is essentially explaining to consumers that this is a downloadable product. So we're gonna to wanna to go back to our Shopify dashboard. We're gonna to wanna to name this product meta field. So given this is gonna be for a product definition, we're just gonna call it product definition. So now that we have our name, you're gonna leave the namespace and key. And all this is is a internal definition in Shopify that allows it to organize it appropriately. Next, we're gonna have a description. Now, I highly recommend, you don't have to do this, but I highly recommend you include a description. It'll help in the future for anybody that's working on your Shopify store that they clearly understand what this is for, what it's gonna be utilized for, and it also helps you to remember in the future why you created it. So we're just gonna write product definition to describe that this is a digital product. So next we have our type and every meta field has the ability to choose different types. Now, in this example, we're gonna be using a dropdown where it's just gonna be text. So we're gonna to wanna to use multi-line text, but you have many options to utilize meta fields such as single line text. So this is just gonna be a single line. Multi-line obviously is gonna be multiple lines. You have integers, which is obviously gonna be anything that doesn't include a decimal point decimals, which can include a decimal point. You can include products, files, which can be hugely powerful, a date and a time, just a date, dimensions. So like, let's say you have a product that you're selling furniture and it has a specific dimension that can be hugely valuable, volume, weight, that can be powerful for things that are shipping. Uh, and then you get into the more specific breakdowns, which is a lot of repetitive of what we were discussing before. Um, and then you can get into more information such as company, customer, and so forth, product variants, uh, true or false. But rather than getting into all the details of the different types that you can create, let's just go th forward and show you exactly how you would utilize this. So we're gonna pick multi-line text. Now you can set certain definitions for this. Um, I'm not gonna do that in this example, but you can do something like zero for the minimum character count, can do 100 for a minimum again we're going to leave this blank and then you can do something like okay here are some common expressions for what you're looking for for this meta field again this goes into a little more detail that we're not going to cover today so we're going to leave these all blank lastly we have our options and for this we only have two options read or no access we're going to leave that on read for now and this is just going to allow us to utilize it on our storefront so now that we have our product, our name, which is product definition, again, the autofill for the namespace and key, which is just gonna organize your uh, meta fields, and then your description, your type, 
and then we pretty much are gonna leave the rest of this as it was, and we're just gonna click save. So now, as you can see, we have our first product meta field definition, which is product definition, multi-line text, and currently it's being used by zero products. So now that we created our meta field, the question is how do we utilize the meta field? Well, in this specific example, because we created a product meta field, Every time you access your product in the Shopify dashboard, you're gonna see the meta field option in the bottom part of the edit of your product. So let's jump into it and I can show you how that works. So we're gonna to wanna to go into our products and then we're gonna go into a specific product. And as you scroll down, you'll see right here, we have our product meta fields with our new product meta field product definition. So as I was saying, when you create these meta fields, because it was a product level meta field, now every single product will have this option to type in a specific meta field for product definition. So this is a global application. Once you apply a product meta field, it's gonna to apply to every single product in your store. So now we're just gonna type in what our multi-line product definition is, and we're just gonna say, this is a digital product that you can access once purchased via a download link. So that's our multi-line text that's gonna be applied to this specific product. So again, this product definition meta field is applied to all products but now that I typed in this multi-line text, it's applied to just specifically this product. So now that we created the product meta field product definition, we're gonna wanna go into our online store and customize it so that we can call that meta field on that specific product page. To do this, we're just gonna go into our Shopify dashboard, we're gonna go into our online store, into our themes, and then click customize on the active theme. Now again, because this is a meta field specific to a product, we're gonna to go to the product page. And specifically, I have a product template created for the product that we applied the meta field to. So now we're gonna to go to where we wanna call this meta field. And I specifically wanna add a little section below here that will add the product definition. So I had already created this block right here on the product page, which is down below here. And we can change this to product definition. And then this is where it gets really powerful. So under content, where we would typically have to type in the content for every single product page, now we're just gonna click this dynamic source button. And when we click it, we're gonna see that we have the current block and it's calling for the page meta field, but we're gonna instead go to the product. And now we see our meta field right here, product definition. So we're gonna click product definition. And now you can see right here, it pulled that meta field automatically from the specific product that's applied to this page. So now you see this is a digital product that you can access once purchased via the download link. That's the exact text that we put in for that specific product. So then we just wanna click save. And then when we go to our website and we go to the product, we'll now see product definition. This is a digital product that you can access once you purchase via download link. As you can see, product meta fields can be hugely powerful for any brand selling on Shopify. For example, let's say you're a brand selling furniture and you have different dimensions that you have to showcase on different products. Well, now you can utilize one specific product page and you can just create a product meta field called dimensions and apply that to each specific product. So when that product page loads, all the dimensions automatically populate to that specific product on one product page. This is just one example of how you can utilize meta fields to truly customize your Shopify store. And just like that, you've unlocked a whole new feature set on your Shopify store. Whether you're selling digital products or physical products, Shopify meta fields are gonna help you to customize your store 
increase sales, and grow your Shopify overall. I'll see you in the next one.